Benjamin Franklin would be proud. This panel suggests a method of collecting clean electricity from the atmosphere, something which definitely could work. The first to try something like this was Benjamin Franklin in 1752, in what is known as the kite experiment. Franklin is said to have attached a conductive wire to a kite, and then flew it near thunder clouds to collect static electricity from the air, to then conduct it down the wet kite string to the ground. At the time, people didn't fully understand electricity, but many years after after that, a lot of patents and designs were proposed for this, like this one you are seeing right now which was made by a certain Walter Pianak from Philadelphia. Now I'm sure a lot of you are wondering where this free electricity comes from. To explain it, allow me to introduce you to the ionosphere, a layer of the Earth's atmosphere located between 80 and 650 kilometers above the surface. It forms the boundary between the breathable atmosphere and the vacuum of space, and since it's so close to space, it is directly affected by the sun which cooks gases in there until they lose some electrons, which creates a sea of electrically charged particles, something which theoretically we could draw and use for free. Fun fact, without the ionosphere, we would have no internet, radio or GPS. These signals rely on traveling through or bouncing off the ionosphere to reach their destinations. Any changes in its density can and will disrupt communication. So to put it simply, for every meter we go up in the air, the voltage increases by about 100 volts, meaning there is about 200 volts of potential difference between your nose and feet when standing. Why don't you get shocked? Your body is a good conductor, so when you are standing on the ground, you are part of it, meaning there are always zero volts around you. Same with trees or buildings. As many of you know, the ground is negatively charged and the sky is positively charged. To start our experiment, we could connect one end of a wire to the ground and lift the other end to the sky for at least 100 meters, but just like you or a tree, the wire is part of the ground and is negatively charged. But even so, with around 10,000 volts in the sky so close to the wire, electrons will fly upward. Sharp rods on the wire would encourage electrons to accumulate at those points, charging them negatively. And since there are positively charged ions in the air, this will cause electrons to be neutralized by these ions. However, due to the voltage gradient, new positive ions will move downward and fresh negative charges will rise from the wire resulting in a flow of electricity. Although the voltage is high, the current on the other hand is very weak. It's not even enough to run a toy, but if done correctly, that should run a corona motor. During thunderstorms, the current can be much higher, but attempting to collect it would be extremely dangerous. Of course, if we had the technology or proper methods, we could do this at a bigger scale and draw even larger amounts of current, but that remains in the realm of theory for now. 